Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on matrices. Now, in the previous presentation, we talked about row operations. Now, in this video, we're going to learn how to identify certain qualities of rows and columns of a matrix. And the idea is if we can identify these uh, properties in, in certain matrices, then it's in a very useful form to solve linear systems of equations. And we call these row reduced matrices and um, uh, row echelon forms. So let me share my screen with you. We'll do a few examples um, and see how we go. Okay, so firstly, some definitions. So suppose we've got a matrix A. There are three definitions here. A leading row is a row which is not all zeros. The leading entry in a leading row is the first, the leftmost, non-zero entry in that row. And thirdly, a leading column is a column that contains the leading entry for some row. Okay, that's quite a lot to take in. So let, let me give you a simple example. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me and see um, where this all fits in. All right, so let's take a matrix. Zero, uh, one, six, two, zero, 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 three, negative one. Let's make it an augmented matrix. So this might uh, correspond to a, a linear system of simultaneous equations. Okay. So remember, rows go horizontally, columns go vertically. So that's row one, that's row two, that's row three, column one, column two, column three. All right, so let's identify uh, these uh, some leading rows and some leading columns. Okay, so a lead, let's, let's identify the leading rows first. A row which is not all zeros. Well, row one's not all zeros, row two's not all zeros, and row three is all zeros. So you would say, Row one and row three are leading or leading rows. Um, R two, row two is not leading. Okay, pretty easy. Let us identify some of the leading entries. Okay, so. Let's look at all the leading rows and find the first non-zero uh, entry. Okay, so R1's leading, so one, one is the leading entry, entry of row one. Uh, row two is not leading, so we can cross it out. And three is the leading entry of row three. Great. Lastly, let's identify the leading columns. So we want to look at the columns and the, the ones that contain the leading entry for some row. So let's look at column one. Does that contain the leading entry for any of the rows? Well, it does. That's the leading entry of row one. Okay. So column one is a leading column. What about the next one? Yeah, column two, that contains that entry, which is the leading entry for row three. So column two is a leading column. And what about column three? Well, that doesn't contain any of the leading entries for any of the rows, okay? Any of the non, uh, any of the non-zero rows, right? So column three is not a leading row, a column. Okay. Okay. So, let's do another example. That was a little bit, little bit laboured, but um, remember, this is it's important that you are able to um, identify leading rows, leading entries, leading columns, because 
the form that we're going to look at, the row echelon and row uh, reduced row echelon forms, are going to rely on these sort of topics. And we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, let's do another example. Okay. Here we have an augmented matrix. Identify the leading rows, the leading columns, and the non-leading columns. Okay, so the leading rows. Let's start with R1. That's non-zero, that's non-zero, that's non-zero. So they're all leading rows because then none of them are completely uh, made up of zeros. Okay, leading columns. All right, let's just go through. Is column one a leading column? Yes, because it contains that um, uh, leading entry for row one. So column one is leading. What about column two? Yes, it contains this, which is the leading entry of row two. Column three, yes, it contains this entry, this leading entry of row three. Is column four leading? Well, no, because it doesn't contain the first non-zero left-hand value of any of the rows, right? So C4 is non-leading. Okay, let's move on to another one. This will be the last one. What are the leading rows? Okay, you can see this and this is the same matrix, except uh, the difference is that row two has been swapped with row three down here. Okay, so what? So let's look, see if that uh, uh, changes anything. Row, uh, sorry, leading rows. They're still all non-zero rows, so they're all leading. What about leading columns? Okay, column one, yes. Column two, yes, because it contains that entry. Column three, yes. Column four, no. So non-leading column, column four. Oh, let me... Push it up a bit. There we go. Okay, so pretty simple examples. The more examples you do, the quicker you'll get at identifying leading rows, leading entries, and leading columns. Okay, and the format is going to be important to identify beautiful formats called um, row echelon and reduced row echelon forms, from which we can solve easily linear systems of equations. That'll be the subject of the next video. Hope you can join me then. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.